All right, guys. Today I'm going to show you guys the best builds, runes, and playstyle when you play Aatrox in the top lane. Um, now, before we actually get into it, let me just rise this up a little bit. There we go. Um, for the best runes for Aatrox, I would always suggest you take Conqueror, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Boneplate, and Revitalize. Now, in terms of, like, starter item, you typically always want to go for a Dorn's Blade. If you're in, like, a very heavy, like, pokey matchup, I would say go for Dorn's Shield. Um, but the most majority of the time, this is what you want to be going for, 99% of the matchups. I'm going to take my Q right here. So, yeah, we're currently up against an Aurelia. Interesting matchup. So, the way how this works... Is that every single time that Aurelia tends to go for a CS, we want to be there to drop down a Q on top of it. Oh, uh, let me actually just mess. Let's say loud again. There we go, that's better. But so ultimately, it's all about timing down your Qs on the exact right timing, and that's you do it always specifically when um when uh, she goes on the CS. I'll show you. A lot of people always have trouble playing Aatrox for this reason, because they don't know how to make perfect use of the Q. Let's see. Kind of having some trouble, like, adjusting my sound. It's still a little bit too loud. Let's put it back to the way it was. So she's going to go for the CS right now. We're going to drop a Q on top of this one. And then we back off again. This way, we can always hit a very nice Q. I want to miss this one. All right. He, of course, tries to all in here. Uh, one thing you should know about the matchup is that Aurelia is actually favorable here uh, for a couple reasons. She can actually jump out of my Qs every single time, which actually leaves her with a pretty massive advantage. So with that in mind, we have to approach her very, very carefully, right? Um, but also, like, a couple more things. If we reach level 6... And we get her down to a certain point. We can actually kill her quite easily as well. So, just gonna go for the CS right here. Ah, we're getting ganked, right? Nice try. They try to jump on me. Apparently, Fiego coming from the bottom from the river. Sure. Okay. Let's get back. <clears throat> so we're just going to go for the Gorchinker right now. Gorchinker is going to be the first item you always want to go for regardless of um, regardless of what you're up against score. Um, this is actually very good. The wave is about to push towards us. I'm actually going to hope that my wave can freeze this before I get back. Yep, great. So we're going to come back with a longsword right now, pots, and a ward. Um, as soon as I get back in lane right now, I'm going to see if I can thin out the wave a little bit or freeze it whenever she decides to go back so that we can create a nice advantage here. Watch this. She puts this wave in this in this spot right now. If she actually decided to stay, then we could actually destroy her right away. Um, but instead, she decides to backboard, which means that we can freeze down this wave right now. And... Um, we can deny her a lot of farm this way. Watch this. Uh, the only thing we should keep in mind right now, guys, is that we actually used my flash already um, from what happened before. Nice. Okay. So we just hold it like this. I don't want to take too much damage, so I think I'm just going to leave it the way it is. I also want to thin out the wave a little bit so I can turn it back into her. Awesome. Okay, we got most of it. So now we're going to push this directly back into our rally. I watched this. Nice. She will go for this one. We back off again. If your Q runs out, you want to be avoiding her. Okay. Let's 
And she does. There we go. So, this is typically the way how Aatrox is being uh, played out. It's it's not about randomly pressing your Qs all, uh, all across the place. Um, but it's mostly about hitting your Qs at the exact right time when they go for a CS. Um, this way you can always get like guaranteed Qs off. A lot. Um, she will get to level 6 soon, so we got to keep in mind. We back off. My Q's on cooldown. We get to level 7. Ooh, nice. You see? And that is how you get Q's off the right way. Nice try. I knew she was going to do that, so I walked back specifically for that reason. Yeah, this guy is completely done right now. There's no chance for him to come back in this game anymore. So Aatrox, I'd say, if you're looking for that perfect top laner to go and play, which is, in my opinion, easy to play. I mean, Aatrox is definitely not hard to play, in my opinion. Um, if you're looking for that specific top laner that you can just pick up like the other day, and you play like a few uh, times and get used to. I think that Aatrox top lane is that perfect champion for you, honestly. Uh, let's go for this one. We go for this one. So yeah, I'd say like Aatrox has a really good laning phase. Has um, pretty good scaling towards mid late game. Not the best scaling in the game, but a pretty good one. Um, the team fighting is pretty good. Everything is pretty solid on, on Aatrox. Um, and is not really the hardest champion to play in the game. So if you're looking for that, then um, this is great. Okay. So here we are again. Okay. Hold on a second. I'm going to bait for my Warwick. I actually hit her right there. And there she goes. So now we get back into pushing. We're going to thin out the entire wave right now. Nice. So the next thing you want to be maxing out after Q is going to be E. So you can spam that more often as well. Um, one tiny thing I want to mention with Aatrox 2 um, is that you can actually cancel your auto uh, with your E. So if you ever plan out on using your E just to auto, uh, you always want auto and then E. So you can auto twice. Very important, guys. Hmm. Nice try. You're not going to hit me with an ultimate there. So let's get back. I got my TP right now, so this guy is pretty much done. I'm going to TP this wave and we can probably freeze it pretty well. Watch this. This guy's finished. Do I try to go for the CS? Oh, I accidentally messed up my Q. But whatever, it's fine. Good. Now we push it back into Aurelia. My ultimate's gonna come up in like a couple seconds from now. Nice. I can use my ultimate right here and just kill her. Hmm. She's not going for that one. Uh, their jungler's currently in ball lane right now. Good. I think that she's probably backing. Would be smart for me if she did. We got a Drake. Alright, I'm about to catch her here. Back off. My Q is on cooldown, so I don't want to miss too much. She's going to go for that CES. I should go for this one. And we got her. My ultimate was actually not necessary here. So that was totally my fault. Um, I could actually save it up for the next time, but whatever, man. I 
Okay. Let's take one more plate. And now we back off. So now we can actually buy Gore Drinker. And the next item right now will probably be a Death Dance. We could also go for a Sterox Gauge right away. Uh, which is pretty good as well. I'm actually kind of thinking about going for Death Dance. And then going for... Uh, there we go. I'm actually thinking about going for a Death Dance right now. And then going for a Sterox Gauge afterwards. Um, with the option to go for... Guardian Angel. Uh, we'll see. So either way, like in terms of the build, you always want to go for Gorchinker. Um, and then like either go for Death Sense or Sterox Gauge right away. It kind of depends on like what you're up against, but that's always what you want to build. Okay. Well, this guy has some issues against me. And there we go. Now we push. Got my Gorchink to wave cleared the wave faster now as well. Gotta drag out the wave a little bit. Nice. And now we take the final plate. Okay. Oh, she goes for a TP. I think I can one for two if the Jonah comes in now. Yeah, yep. Hmm. I, I, like they stand no chance against me. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Aatrox is way too, way too, too, too strong in this case. Nice. Now we take the tower. Like, this is the reason why you guys want to play Aatrox. It's specifically for this reason. You're constantly just poking with Qs and everything. Uh, that's the main reason to play Aatrox. Aatrox is like the kind of champion. You can co uh, compare Aatrox to a champion like Cannon. Um, but except it's like a melee champ, right? Instead of poking all the day with autos, instead of that, you're basically poking with Qs all day. And that is how you win the laning phase. Now she's going to go for that CS right there. Watch this. You see? Every time she goes for a CS, we drop a Q on top of it. So she has to make a choice. Nice. Hmm. Now this is going to be harder to do now. <laughs> what is this? Ah, <laughs> uh, would be three without my ultimate. I thought I was gonna die here, but they couldn't get me because of the healing. Even without my ultimate, I'm just healing like I'm just healing like crazy. They should not beat me. But yeah, you could you see like even without Aatrox ultimate, you're still like insanely powerful if you get this far ahead. Alright, let's get ourselves back. We're gonna go for uh, steel caps now, and then we will build the uh the death stance, and then we will uh there we go. Now death stance it is. We sell the, the ward because we don't need it anymore. All right, we were gonna walk back top lane. We're just gonna do the same thing on repeat right now. <clears throat> so anything from now, we're going to be pushing top lane as the you know, we're gonna do that the whole time straight. We're gonna be farming down jungle camps as much as possible, um, and constantly get catches on Aurelia as much as possible too. And if we did it on repeat, we should be able to win quite easily. I think this guy's pretty pretty well aware. Thank you very much. It's so easy to get catches on Aatrox. It's pretty ridiculous, man. If you use your R, you get so much movement speed, you can just press ER. Uh, what? 
And you guys think that you stand a chance. Okay, never mind. <laughs> if I if I led my Q differently, I would have actually killed him right away. But I kind of messed it up. I actually didn't hit anyone with my third Q. And that's why I die. I should have actually had all of them here. But whatever. They literally walk into my, into my second Q. So, yeah, I just had to get one more. One more Q off. Uh, no problem. I think I'm just going to TP top now. Actually, I don't even have to. I'm just going to walk down there. I was thinking about just fast forwarding to top, but never mind. I'm not going to waste my uh, my TP for something like that. Ooh, nice. Also, my teammates are doing work as well. Okay. This uh this Aurelia is 0 and 7 at the moment. Let's see if we can make her 0 and 10. She's farming up again. I think that she probably took the camp from before. Oh, she's dead. See ya later. And we got her. Thank you very much. Uh, Shaco and Fiego are currently in ball lane, fighting. I got my TP ready. I'm gonna go kind of TP. I'll help them out. We got him. Whoops, should not have hit that one. My auto did like 500 damage there. Alright, we got this guy. Hmm. Yeah, we got her. Thank you very much. Like, that's... Guys, honestly, Aatrox ultimate is very ridiculous, man. You just get so much movement speed from the ultimate. Which makes it so... Such a snowball -y champion, man. Uh, let's get this camp. Oh, there's no camp anymore. It's already been taken. Sure. So, I think I really might be farming this. Wait. Hold on a moment. Oh, I messed it up completely. And this is a little bit of an issue. There's other people coming too. I think that he's probably here. Yeah. Okay, we got him. Thank you. And I got myself healed up again. Yeah, I think this guy's probably dead too. Whew, so close. Hmm. Mm, will we get him? Is he gonna jump on me? Can we bait him? Yeah, yep, he fell for the bait and they got him too. Awesome. Now we can get the old wave here, and we can back off after. Oh man, Aatrox feels like a very... I'm not gonna lie. Aatrox, once you get fed with this champ, you're... Um, oh man, it feels just so satisfying. It feels great. Got a rep off. Nice. Uh, there is no wards here anymore, as far as we can tell. Nice. Oh, whoops. Messed up. Okay, let's get back. We're going to go for uh, for death stance right now. And then we will buy the Sarex gauge. Um, all we need right now as the next item, we either go for a Guardian's Angel as the next item after Sterex Gage, or we tend to go for Spirit Visage to improve the healing from Aatrox even more. So, uh, I, I think it's probably going to be a, a Spirit Visage just so I can heal better. There's these guys over here. Let's see if we can fight them. 
Okay, let's start. Thank you. Well, I think we're about to get a Penta here. <laughs> I am unkillable. I am literally unkillable. <laughs> I literally took no damage. One versus five. I'm still full health. Like, if, if that doesn't prove that Aatrox is not strong right now, then I don't know what will, man. I just took no damage at all. I'm telling you guys, man. Aatrox is such a perfect champion. I haven't played Aatrox in half a year. Right? But this champion is actually so perfect. You can definitely see it on the, on the stats of Aatrox as well. Let's see. I'm going to 1v5 again. I'm unkillable. They can't even kill me. I can't be killed then. Mm. Ah, okay. Okay, maybe maybe this time they did not catch me, okay? They, they, they got me 5 versus 1, okay? But no problem, because I'm going to go for Starx Gage right now. I'm gonna buy the uh, I'm gonna buy this one. We're gonna do the same thing all over. Let's see if we can actually get a second pentacle, right? Let's see if we can actually get another one. We actually got shredded by two Blade of Rune Kings. That's why we lost. I'm pretty sure that the two uh Blade of the Rune Kings actually killed me. Alright, let's go. Thinking about selling this. Nah, I'm not gonna sell it. Never mind. Okay, I just need my team right now. Steepy. Uh, looks like my Warwick is already killing Shaco. So that's one less to worry about. Awesome, we got him. Hmm. Okay, we got him. We're all gonna heal up back up anyways. Nice one. I <laughs> that Warwick is like tanking up everything for me. What a kind guy. Hmm. Wait, I'll heal this back up. That's the fake one. Hmm. Oh, we actually kicked out of it. We're actually struggling to get this tower, okay? We just have to get top set now. Oh yeah, they're re redoing it. Hmm. They're actually struggling. Actually, my whole team died. Just now. Let's get this camp. Wait, we're getting chased down by a Fiego? Where is this guy? Well, this guy's dead. Thank you. Ah, eh, you're running? Ah, well, he's dead too. Thank you. We got a rep up now too. Okay, all we need right now... Oh, whoops. Oh, <laughs> we got trolled by a LeBlanc. Actually, I had no rep up, so she just stole it. Uh, I actually want to try to finish the game here, but we need my team to group up. Okay, I don't think they're going to allow me to finish up the game here. But let's see. Got you. Hmm. Oh, you're going to try? <laughs> Hitting the Qs is the best part. 
can't look at me healing up anyways. They have no chance. I'm healing faster than they do damage. I can't be stopped, man. The healing is too impressive on Aatrox. Hmm. Okay. This is Aatrox top lane, guys. Uh, before we end today's YouTube video, just as always, uh, this entire game has been played live on stream, guys. Um, if you want to see me play live, make sure to check out the link below the YouTube video. And uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.